Hello everyone, this is Pastor Jeff and welcome to our Monday weekly devotion. Uh, today I'd like to read out of John 11 verses 45 and 46 which says, Many of the Jews therefore who had come with Mary and had seen what he did believed in him, but some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So I'm starting at the end of a very familiar story. Uh, this is the story where uh, Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. And if you've been a Christian for any length of time, I'm sure you've heard this story. But if you, uh, if you don't remember it or haven't heard it before, um, Lazarus is uh, a friend of Jesus's. Uh, he's the brother of Mary and Martha, and he falls sick. And Jesus is not in town at the time, so the sisters uh, send for Jesus uh, in the hopes that he would heal Lazarus. Well, Lazarus, uh, uh, or Jesus, intentionally waits. And uh, by the time Jesus arrives in town, Lazarus has passed away. Now, as Jesus is approaching town, uh, Martha goes out to meet Jesus, and she says to him that uh, if Jesus had been there, Lazarus would not have died. And in the course of their dialogue, uh, Jesus famously proclaims there in verses 25 and 26 that, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. So ultimately the story takes us to the point where Mary has joined her sister Martha along with the Jews who had been uh, in the sister's house, house consoling them. And they end up at Lazarus' grave. And you probably know the rest of the story. Jesus uh, asks for the, uh, the uh, tombstone to be rolled away and, and calls Lazarus to come on out. And Lazarus, who had been four, uh, dead for four days, emerges from the grave. Um, today's passage is what immediately transpires after the event. Um, we have some in the crowd who come to believe in Jesus, while others still remain entrenched in their ways and, and, and don't believe in him. Um, this crowd uh, is, is called the Jews, but in the, in the context of this passage, uh, it represents folks who are religious. Uh, these religious people don't have a relationship based on God or uh, with God based on faith, but it's on works, and they think that their works are going to rectify the sin problem which we're all born into. Um, after encountering Jesus, some in the crowd begin believing in him and cast their faith, faith upon him for life. Um, the others, like I mentioned, stayed entrenched in their ways, but they even go back to the Pharisees to report what they had seen, and the Pharisees, in turn, plot to kill Jesus because they feel their way of life is going to be threatened. They don't, they don't acknowledge Jesus is the Messiah that they've been waiting for uh, their entire lives. This crowd, therefore, represents the fork in our lives that we must all take at some point. We're either going to choose Jesus, who plainly states that he is the resurrection and the life, or we, we reject him. Um, Jesus could not be any clearer here in stating that he is the way, that he is the road. There, there is no other way to, uh, to God, to heaven. Um, so if you're a Christian and you've, you've chosen that fork in the road, you've chosen Jesus, you've chosen life, praise the Lord. Um, it, uh, you, you have an eternal uh, and secure salvation. Um, and if you're a Christian and you, maybe you've kind of drifted back into that habit of being religious, uh, having tradition, um, commit now to, to renew your relationship with Jesus and, and let God's Spirit do His work in you because He wants to do magnificent things in our lives. Um, however, if you're, if, if you're one that has not chosen Jesus, that you're entrenched maybe in some religious ways that you think your works are, are going to satisfy God and allow you into heaven, um, the Bible doesn't, does not uh, uh, offer that as, as a way uh, to the Father. Jesus says, I am the Father, the way, the truth, and the life. You must go through Jesus. And, and if you have not made that choice, do so now. Surrender, surrender to Him now and you will find life. God bless you guys this week.